Okay, now the palette, please. Okay, I will use three basic colors. So now I will remove first layer of water with a napkin. Like this. And now it's still wet to make soft edges. So the left cat will be orangey warm color. So, and let's cover the basic color. I will left area inside his ear blank to fill it with pink color later. Now I will do like this with my brush and napkin and try to blend this edge into a white. So it will give us a little hint of a volume that we have here. And now let's add more yellow to our mix here. Okay, so we have this little pool of color in his left paw, so I will remove it with corner of a napkin so I will begin with corner of his tail And I will wait this edge to dry to then add a little bit darker color here to separate his tail from his body. Now let's make our tall cat. I want him to be very dark but not black so we will mix some purple. And maybe one touch of napkin there. Maybe more than one. Okay, so now let's go back to the our orange cat and we will add more red to our brow. I'm sorry to our orange. And we will finish his tail.
if it's too much like here we can also remove it with our napkin but very very careful okay, the same one here so I don't like them to have two white parts because we're not gonna cover our background so we will add some color to it so we will take our lightest yellow here we'll mix it with more water and just cover it on top of a shadow on their all on the whites of their eyes now we will take our purple color and we'll add a little shadow on his belly just just tiny drops and it will blend into a wet yellow that we have here <laughs> and the same on the dark cat's tail Okay, I'm out on the memory, on the camera that's filming the palette, so I will show it here. Or you, you can mix more saturated green with lots of yellow and little drop of blue. Oops, like this. For the leaf. Okay, now you will see that your corners will dry faster than center of your page, so they will try to fall down so you can take a large brush and some water and just wet them again okay so now when all of this will dry I will add some dark shadows here and we done. And we done with this. Okay, now with clean wet brush we will soft soften the edges of our shadow a little bit, not too much. And we done. So I will scan this picture to show it you in more closer look. Okay, and now I will show you how to keep your drawing straight and flat after it's dry okay then you want to put your stuff on a hard flat surface make sure that your top part of painting is dry enough and no colors are wet then you put clean napkin on top of it and then you can put a hard and heavy book or some box and add some weight and there you go you 
see nice and flat and dry okay see you guys next time bye bye